here we are to another version, another theme, another day, another episode of 15 Minutes of Fame. And today with me is the one, the only, the very famous in a lot of people's worlds, Christy Nicolay. And Christy, you're here on the 15 Minutes of Fame today because you are an event specialist on high. You have been around, you have seen this world, and I'm very excited to have your input and thoughts about uh, what you do for a living and how the world is today about after about two weeks of hardcore lockdown of coronavirus and the versions of what Christy Nicolay and her company will be doing hereafter the waves have settled. So, world, Christy Nicolay, go ahead. Hey, how are you? First of all, I love your, your specialty lighting behind you. Oh, thank you. It's very uh, fine LED stuff. LED lights, yeah, very fancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I'm, I'm good. Just uh, hanging out here at the homestead, um, which is, you know, super rare. Um, really awesome, but super strange not to uh, be going anywhere for a while. I think it's been... The last time I was really with um, with work people was um, Friday, March thirteenth. Mm -hmm. um, that's when we officially were were finished. I was right. Uh, I was just kicking off the BNP Paribas Open in Indian Wells, which is uh, one of the tennis tournaments that we do every year. And, and when you we say were, you, uh, you, yeah. what company do you work for? Yeah, so I'm working for Van Wagner. Um, so uh, we we're kind of Van Wagner Sports and Entertainment, but we've gone back to just Van Wagner, um, Van Wagner Productions. Um, and uh, they're, a, they're a company that used to be, uh, well, a division of them used to be Big Screen Network, which is a company that I've worked with and hired since, um, gosh, since Salt Lake 2002 Olympic Winter Games. Um, we've right, done and that was like digital marketing, things like this. Uh, they did all of the content for, for the big screens, so all video production. Um, and then they sold right after the Rio, or right around the Rio 2016 Olympic Games, where we had just done, I think, seven out of nine Olympic Games together. They sold to, um, to Van Wagner, Van Wagner Group, which is based in New York. And then I, as soon as I finished Rio, I also started working for them. So now I get to work with all the people that I, you know, used to, used to work with separately, but now I work, work for them. And, um, yeah, it's been, it's been since November, 2016 already. So it's been great. We do all sports all the time, everything, you know, from, uh, the Super Bowl to, uh, I mean, I don't get to do the Super Bowl because there's other people that are at football than me, but mm -hmm. <laughs> we do, you know, Super Bowl, Olympic Games, Kentucky Derby, U.S. Open of Tennis, uh, March Madness, NHL, like all kinds of, all sports. All right. Time. And so for anybody who's watching who kind of maybe is still like, well, I wonder what does she mean by what we do? Uh, yeah. Think of the mainframe, the hub, the, the big 52 foot rigs that pull in that have all the TV station stuff with the cameras, the lights, the action that is Christy is, is, is managing all of that aspect right there. So, and, and that's, that's huge. I mean, that's like for what people are seeing on TV, you are responsible for a lot of those movements uh, to well, we, kind of know, wrap it up into a basket. We like to say that we capture the, the atmosphere that, or, you know, we create the atmosphere that broadcast captures and sends around the world. So really, I mean, my company, there's a, a lot of different areas from, you know, sponsorship sales to, to naming rights to all, to all different, different areas. My focus generally is sport presentation or what we would call, you know, live event production. So um, I like to call it's all for me. It's all the fun stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, and that's how we know each other by yeah. working live event, live show. Uh, I got to work with you at the 2002 uh, or 2002. Pardon me, jeez, yeah. time flies. 2020 uh, Winter Youth Olympics, and yeah. uh, over there in Switzerland. And so the experience is that uh, you know you're helping build for the guest, be it a big screen, a live show. The entire production uh, this is your world so what what do you do when it comes to business like this i've talked to like a lot of like independent contractors who have much smaller clients not super bowls not olympics things like this where they're having to like write letters to their you know client being like hey i hope you're doing good today you know can i send you a basket of oranges something like that your clients are worldwide stages. What do you do with a client in a time like this when you're like, okay, cool. So like last month I was going to Tokyo uh, this year or something like that. And, and now it's being pushed off 
you know, into a different schedule. We've seen this happen before with 9-11. Uh, with 9-11, we now have the Super Bowl in February, where it once was in January. And that world event changed how and when we watch the Super Bowl. Um, the question to you, and I think that you're the, the person to ask this, is what sports do you think could maybe indefinitely change because of this? Or are we just going to shift, um, you know, like with the, to with the Tokyo Olympics just being put off a year? Yeah. What does this do? What happens to the landscape of sport? I mean, my personal opinion is that 2021 is going to be ridiculously busy. Like, I'm, I'm looking at this like, this is like, hey, take a breath. Let's get everything in order. Let's get organized. Let's catch up. Let's, you know, keep our communication going and everyone just be ready. Because um, obviously, yeah, Tokyo shifted a whole year. Looks like the Dubai Expo, which is, you know, not a sport event for us, but that we may could potentially be involved in is probably shifting a whole year. Um, but everything is impacting other, other things that we do. So, um, you know, the world games in Birmingham may go a whole year or may go earlier. Um, you know, we just, we just don't, don't know yet. I mean, it's all going to be up to all the, you know, the different international federations, like all kind of have to decide. Um, but I think, you know, Tokyo is obviously the biggest, it's making the biggest impact on all the other events around the world. But I think that things are going to kind of just move around and settle into place. And, and I think it's going to be, I mean, I'm optimistic, you know, that, I don't know, September, um, we're super, super busy. And it's going to, I think, I think we're all going to be grateful for the break that we're having now, because I think when, when the industry comes back, I think it's going to come back hard, you know, it's gonna come back. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree because I mean, obviously, you know, topical ideas, people are ready to get out of the house. You know, yeah. there's going to be a lot of energy out there. There's going to be a lot of people being like, okay, I got, I'm ready. Let's throw yeah. 10 Olympics if we have to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. So, um, you know, I know some things are getting delayed. Some things are getting, are getting canceled, but I think that there's enough stuff that's being delayed. That's going to kind of push into 2021 is, um, I think, I think it's going to be I okay. think it's busy. So schedules, schedules obviously are being twisted up a little bit. Like here's as a matter of fact, I'm wearing a jacket of one. This is known as the GoPro mountain games. It happens up in Vail. And yeah. the discussion is now pushing it back into August. And I thought about that. I said, okay, that's fine. You know, uh, obviously it overbooked on another gig that I have. I'm, I won't speak about that right now, but um, the other thing is too, is, and I, and, and I'm not throwing any shade or whatever, but this event started 18, 17, 18 years ago as a kayaking event. Mm -hmm. And if you know much about kayaking in Colorado, there's no kayaking in August. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can, you can go pedal around in the river, but I mean the down river rush, which is the melt of the snow season coming down the streams, which is why we have it in June, because the rivers are just running at that point, right? And now we've really got a contest. This is going to change the dynamic of that sport a lot, right? Like, so I don't know if the Olympics are going to have the, any of that f phase because everything is so self-contained and everything, you know, ice rinks are going to be inside and uh, outdoor arenas are going to be outdoor arenas. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm fairly certain this is a one-off. I'm, you know, already working on Beijing 2022. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they are right on schedule uh, with everything. There was a, a little bit of a... Um, not a fear, but a little bit of, oh, hey, wait, our Tokyo 2020 test events going to overlap with Beijing 2022 test events. Um, but it looks like I'm still actually kind of going through that schedule, but it does look like everything's going to be fine there. Tokyo almost had almost all of their test events already. Cool. Um, so, of, of course, the athletes don't cross over, but us in the, in the industry, producers, announcers, music directors, video directors, all of them, you know, could could have the potential of, of things like overlapping, but it looks like, it looks like as far as Tokyo 2020 and Beijing 2022, which still calling it Tokyo 2020, even though it's going to be in 2021. <laughs> right. Fair enough. Fair enough. We're all trying to say it correctly. But, right. But it looks like, you know, it looks like that stuff's going to be okay. And I, I think that, you know, everyone's going to do their due diligence, you know, federations are going to look and see like what's best, you know, for their athletes and, and um, I think it's going to, it's going to shake out. I just think it's going to, I think, I think everyone should enjoy the rest. Everyone in our industry right now should uh, enjoy the time they have at home. 
because I think their frequent flyer miles miles are gonna <laughs> kick back in soon enough. In yeah. My personal opinion. Anyway. Yeah, no, that's a really good piece of advice to, and I think, you know, after speaking with some um, people that I know you and I've worked with together, like the Brad J and, and not the Brad J, he's actually a human, Brad J, okay. <laughs> the Brad J, right, Brad J. <laughs> right, and Naka, I, I think, you know, and, and it's a congruent statement, and we speak more, and Kim uh, Waisaki is yes. that, um we're seeing that in this time, we're taking those moments to enjoy the downtime. You know, you just before this conversation said, hey, look out my back window, the golf course is closed. So it's allowing people to kind of just walk and discover parts that you normally would just kind of stay away from because golf balls could be coming at your head. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is really, you know, it's, it is, it is amazing to see uh, people like yourself, myself and, and, and other eventers who, you know, we're going. And that's the pace we live at, right? We enjoy that. Like to sit at home for, yeah. you know, two, three weeks at a time would feel like I've just completely missed out on life, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I miss something like, oh, you know, and I go, oh, no, wait, <laughs> nobody else is doing anything either, you right. know? So, and it's, it's, it's really strange to think about that, you know, it's not just the U.S. or North America or California. It's like really worldwide. So it's not like things are happening in, you know, Abu Dhabi and we just can't get there. It's right. like things aren't happening. So, right. um, you know, we're, we're really, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a, a bit of a forced, you know, vacation. I know it's, you know, of course not good for our industry or for the economy or, or any, of, or any of that, but I think there definitely are positive, positive aspects of this that we can look at that are, you know. What will Van Wagner's hope be coming out of this like it's may 1st uh people are getting back to work things like this what will van wagner hope to see well we hope to see everyone super busy i mean we're i just just had a call with my boss actually to talk about things that we do have coming up we produce the nfl draft mm -hmm. um you know i can't really talk about that but you're probably going to be seeing the nfl draft done in a way that's never been done before so that's um, awesome yeah. So, you know, but, um, it's, uh, I mean, we, we, we were talking about, okay, well, what if this sticks to schedule and this changes and this changes. And, and then we talked about like, Oh no, what if, you know, this event that we do over here conflicts with this and we're like, Hey, if we're, <laughs> if we're all overbooked and overlap and we can put our entire team and we you know not just our entire in-house team, you know, back to work but as well as like all of our freelancers around the world I mean we have people like in every region of the world um that we would you know love to be able to put to work so I think that's definitely you know our hope so that's awesome okay so check this out we have oh we got a little bit more than a minute to go oh, okay. um uh, it flies by I know we could do this for hours it goes like this um so Van Wagner being the production company, if who looks for Van Wagner, how, um, who, who wants to hire Van Wagner? Oh, well, just, if you want to hire Van Wagner, just go to vanwagner.com or you can, uh, we have a, a great business development team, you know, or you can hit me up and just, uh, see Nicolay at vanwagner.com. If it's, uh, you know, something involving sport presentation or if not, I can put you in touch with our other divisions. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm all about the live show, live event, sport presentation, especially international. And, you know, my, my area is worldwide events. So, um, yeah, we're, we're ready when everyone else is ready. And we just, I just had a call with Beijing 2022 the other day and they were talking about, Oh, when, when can we see, you know, when can we be face to face again? And said, well, when we're allowed to fly, we will fly. So um, yeah, we're, we're ready. Awesome. Okay. Christy, so great to catch up with you. I hope that you're having all of the relaxing over there in California <laughs> and Palm, Palm Springs. And um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I, after all these interviews that I've had, be it uh, associates that we both know or, or ones that we don't, um, mm -hmm. the energy is definitely building up. The energy banks, the, the battery storage tanks, they're filling up again. People will have that energy to come back to work. And I think uh, a person in your role, being a director and a manager of all things considered that uh, 
it's going to be pretty nice coming back to work because you don't have to pull strings. You, those emails, you're going to send one. It's going to be back to you in 30 seconds. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're ready for sure. No. No. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, Christy, thank you so much. Uh, again, Christy Nicolay of Van Wagner. And if you want to have any interest in live show production of all things considered, cameras or on site, this human being is the one to get with. <laughs> Thank Thanks, Goldie. <laughs>